If you like movies like Blade, you should watch Blade. Because it's way better than the film I'm talking about today, Day Shift. To be fair, Day Shift is really nothing like Blade outside of the premise that there's a dude hunting vampires. Everything else is, is pretty much different. Jimmy Fox takes lead here as a character named Bud, I think. He's a pool cleaner whose real job is cleaning out vampires. The premise is something. Bud's wife and daughter are gonna be leaving his ass, moving to Florida to live with their parents because they're on the rocks. It's a bad relationship. That is, unless he can come up with the 10,000 needed to pay for some stuff. How is he gonna do this? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Selling vampire teeth on the black market. That's right, Day Shift is a bit like Kingsman, or Men in Black, or John Wick. There's a world within the world. A seedy underbelly with checks and balances, different players, featuring Snoop Dogg as one of them. He still can't act, but damn it if he's not cool all the same. If you've been following the channel for a while, you might be confused because I like Men in Black, I like Kingsman, I like John Wick. So why didn't this work? Why didn't this stick? Well, it's just kind of a messy film all around. For starters, the villain, who's a real estate mogul slash vampire lady, completely over the top, doesn't sell it at all, has really fake vampire teeth and she can't really talk when they're in. It's, it's just not a good look. The movie's going for a lighter, sillier approach, but Jamie Foxx is a no-nonsense guy who's kind of an asshole most of the time. Doesn't play out for laughs. He just kind of comes off like a jerk. Especially when he's constantly grilling Dave Franco's character Seth. Visually speaking, the movie's not bad. It has just a very polished digital look to it. There's no film here. There's no cinematic quality. It just feels like they took a bunch of 4K cameras, walked around, didn't do any post-production, called it a day. Choreography's fantastic. There are some creative weapons and kills in this for sure. I like that his bullets have wood in them, and he's got like a little Uzi, so he's like <laughs> up against a vampire, pulls out his machete, because I guess a katana's too cool. Whoosh! 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 A vampire runs up behind as he's slicing down. He put a trip wire across the top, so the vampire's like <laughs> Another Cirque du Soleil vampire's flipping around. <laughs> Hits it through the ceiling. <laughs> Filming's a whole other ball game. You could have convinced me four different directors shot this thing because at some points it's wildly off the rails like a Michael Bay film complete with drones under axle shots of a vehicle, and at other points it's a little bit more traditional free-flowing camera work. It's a Netflix movie, it doesn't feel like a real movie, and it's not because it didn't go to theaters, I just watched Prey. That felt like a movie that should have gone to theaters. This just has like a cheapness to it. Like that other movie I talked about, The Princess, that was a Hulu exclusive. This movie's about an hour 50 long, I made it an hour 25. Did not finish it, didn't watch the last 20 minutes, didn't care. Also, you could have convinced me that this movie started out as anything other than vampire, and I would absolutely believe you, because nothing about these creatures screams vampire outside of the sun hurts them. For the most part, they don't really look like vampires, they don't act like vampires. A lot of the times they're flipping around like they're gymnasts, or they trained at the same school Black Widow did. They're constantly flipping around necks, flying off of things. And at first, it does look very cool and brutal to see a vampire like land on their neck so unnaturally with their body twisting backwards. By the 50th time, it loses all its appeal. About midway through the film, two Russian vampire hunters show up, easily the best part of the movie. Uh, I could have watched a whole film about them and I think it would have been much better because they have the charisma, they have the style, they have the attitude I'm looking for out of vampire hunters. They were great, and it was a bummer when they left the scene because, uh, yeah, that, that's the film I want to see. Not so much stick in the mud Jamie Foxx trying to make ends meet. This is an R-rated movie for action. I'm sure there was some swearing. Like, I'm just so desensitized to it, I don't even notice it anymore. Maybe you saw the film and you have a different take. Love to hear it in the comments below. Let's try to be civil, please. I, I'm, not, I'm not attacking you if you liked the movie, okay? If you liked it, that's great. If you hated it... Welcome to the club. Like the video if you had a good time, and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't as I post tons of movie and TV show related content each and every week. Would love to have you aboard. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. Since you stuck around, maybe think about becoming a Patreon member at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here on YouTube via that join button. It's just a way to show your support. I'm a one-man operation, posting tons of videos for your entertainment. 
It's mainly for free. YouTube is just a, a pathetic payout system, but you can help. You can help offset that cost of my time and uh, my sanity by, by becoming a Patreon member. I'd appreciate it.